I just got a message on Damik's tablet. Hi, Joey. It's great to finally talk to you. But I kinda have some bad news. You only have 11 days. What does that mean? It's a little complicated. But the TLDR is, if you don't go back through the return portal in 11 days, both Earth and Alternia will be destroyed. I feel like that's going to be a problem. Uh-oh. There we go. Onward! Shoot! Bucket! Ah! Shoot! Just where do you think you're going? Back up! We're having a boring, non-violent discussion! My friend and I really need to get by here. Could you stop for your argument for one second, please? What is it? Some kind of solicitation? Pathetic. My mate friend and I have better arguments to have than with the likes of you. Huh? I assumed you guys were kismases. You assumed... YOU ASSUMED WRONG! What are you guys talking about? Mostly there. Be gone if you know it's good for you. Yeah, well, uh... We still really need to get by, so... You really... need to get the hell out of my face! Can't you see I'm busy? My maid sprint is being a total tool! By, please? I don't want any more trouble. Don't tell me what to do! I'm not telling you anything. I'm politely asking. This really seems like a conflict worth solving to me. You two must be a really, um, prolific couple. Think about all the things you've accomplished. Probably. You presume to know. Don't make me laugh. We all know you're the lowest of the low. Not everyone was born with unique talents to rise beyond the station of their own cast, to become something more. Something great. Something like royalty. Ugh. Nastasia, you're embarrassing me. It takes a lot. Why don't you two work out your feelings somewhere more private? That's ri That's ridiculous! This is really what I meant by mediation. Connell? What? Check out this miserable worthless speck with her equally worthless breast blood servant. They think they can stand up to me. <laughs> that is funny! But I'm still mad at you! Why are you two still here? Are you not going to give up? Ugh, no! Clearly I will not! Uh, you are infuriating! Tell you what, kid. You want to get by? Do your work. Excuse me. You heard me. You're talking really quiet all of a sudden, actually. You heard me. Take me in a fight, one on one. <clears throat> I think what my partner is trying to say is such. I challenge you to a duel. Beat me one on one, and we'll let you pass. What? That's ridiculous! How am I supposed to duel you both one-on-one -on -one at the same time? I wanted to fight first. I have a lot of pent-up aggression. And I honestly could use an outlet. Listen, Con. As well as the time to admit it, defending your honor from these two despicable rogues is my duty. What are you talking about? They are low blood. 
Yeah. And so am I. Yes. And as far above them as my natural intellect, martial prowess, and good looks might place me, in the end, we are one in the same. The lowly bottom of the Hema spectrum. So as your partner and your mate, Chris, it is my duty, no, my privilege, to put them in their place. Wow, Daja. Wow, Daja. Okay. Okay. If that's what you want. It, it is what I want. I just... I thought it might be harder to convince you. I thought you might think I was being dramatic. Oh, I know you are being dramatic. But that's why I like you. Oh. Right. Of course. You heard her. Beat me one on one, and you can pass. You mean you only want to fight one of us, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. A Dodja could defeat you both effortlessly. Don't take too long to prepare. I don't like being kept waiting. Ugh. I guess they're serious. You really want us to fight them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. They're not really going to hurt us, are they? No. I'll protect you, Joey. I don't want you to get hurt either. I'll be fine. Let's just go. Alright, so... I'm going to figure this out, I guess. Before the fight. Let's figure out how to get to the next one. Uh, Guess there's nothing to it but to get started. Let the duel begin. So, Joey and Zephros versus this guy. My friend, his power level, it's... Wait, what? What was that? Joey, are you okay? Yes, I'm alright, I just got knocked down. Wow, Zephyrus, I didn't know you were that strong. I... Huh? How'd you do that? That was really cool! Oh, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Emotional distress. Plain and simple. That's all there is to it. Twerp must have been cheating! I'll kick his ass! That is unnecessary. The burgundy blood has proven himself a worthy opponent. Urgh. I hate seeing you like this! If I had been flipping out on you, I would have never... I'm sorry, Dodger. <laughs> what? Not so often you're the first to admit defeat in an argument. Apology accepted. Oh, shut up! You are such a nerd! I apologize as well. One failed mission does not mean our entire partnership has fallen apart. I was a fool. Yeah, you were. We both made mistakes. Let's just move on. Yes, we can move on. Ah. <laughs> it seems we've attracted quite the audience. Uh, look at us, everyone. Look at us. Everyone is going to think we're facilitating. 
I refuse to be your Moira or your Kismet. And I sure as him don't want to end up in a three-way snooze fest with a random stranger. Can't you see? I just want to be your partner. Ew. That can be arranged. Well, actually, it's already arranged. We've been dating for an entire week. <laughs> Let's get back to doing what we do best. Riddling hunting people down for money. Hell yes. What in the world is going on here? Uh, romance. Yeah, troll romance is, uh, very different. Anyways, guess we can make it to the next car now. Flesh. So, let me think. Is it the blue blood? So, um, sorry this is kind of a personal question, but, huh? I get the impression that your species has sort of, uh, Ooh, excuse me. Well, the way you seem to do romance is very different from what I'm used to on my planet. Really? Yeah. Sorry if that was confusing. It's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But right now, we have to worry about getting to the front of the train, right? Yeah, let's go. So, going up the line, we have... Ah! The Jade Bloods! Here we go. This ought to be a more refined experience. They're awesome! And into fashion. With everyone just calm down. We are calm. The only one pitching a fit here is Flanera, as usual. I am not pitching a fit! I'm trying to help Branya keep everyone in order. Nera, stop. Really? Because what it sounds like is you're kicking up a mob to get me cold. I should have known the second we were out of the caves, you try to get me thrown off the train, you backstabbing little bitch. No one have to throw any off any trains if you just tell us where the book is I don't have to say shm about shm Daria please just tell us what happened to the book if you say that you're innocent I promise to believe you but you have to say something I'm not dignifying anything that comes out of that brown nosed pathetic ignorance gash. Panera's ignorance of gashes is, as always, what caused this entire thing. Wh what is that supposed to mean? Bl Blanc, Daria, don't gang up on her. Why the f not? She's trying to get you to gang up on me. I didn't even want to come on this stupid field trip. Can't you see this is a si- Shh! Everyone! Look! Oh, uh, don't mind us. Now look what you've done! That's it. I'm out. Don't talk to me unless you got something to say to my face this time. I don't know what that was all about. It's... Better not to worry about it. Cloister jades are always like this. Cloister? Are they nuns? Is that why they're wearing Catholic school uniforms? I don't know what the C word means, but yeah, they're supposed to become nuns when they grow up. Wait, do both our plants have nuns? Are nuns a universal constant? Wow, we found something in common! 
does that mean you also have caves full of children tending to trial pits and aiding in the mother grub breeding process? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I should probably let you know that there are teals in this car too. The teals are stereotyped as very law abiding. So, don't do anything illegal. Weird. Well, we'll just mind our own business and keep going. Alrighty. Hopefully they won't take... Oh, hey! Yeah, the teal blood. Look at them. They're cool. Alright, well, let's keep moving. Uh, um, did someone lose a book? When I try to wash my hands, this pops out of the moisture evaporation unit. It looks... Uh, very private? Give that to me! Eep! This is it! It's the book! In which seductive answer of Beth and Lewis comes to know is the forbidden curse of the Rainbow Drinker Freezing Oh yeah, that's the title of the book. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to read because I'm seeing a few words I don't want to say. But yes, here's a little fun fact about Troll Society. In every piece of media, the titles are all that long. Let that sink in for a minute. Anyways, moving on. Otherwise known as... Fresh Teeth, Book 5 of the Rainbow Emotion Saga. Oh, cool. They abbreviate it. That's nice. Reading Fresh Teeth in the Load Gaper... Wait. Reading... Reading Fresh Teeth in the Load Gaper Duria? Really? That's perverse even for you. Did you just stuff Fresh Teeth up your nook already? Fighting is getting isn't getting us anywhere. I'll say, perhaps you could use some outside arbitration to resolve this conflict in an orderly, lawful, and objective fashion. Mm, no offense, Stells, but I'd rather stick a nutritional prong directly into my eye socket than get involved in this. Darling, just think of it as a trial run for your Rule is bar exam. Never hurts to get more practice. The fact that I don't fall for such cut rate manipulation is why I'm pretty confident I'm gonna pass it just fine without you. You are determined at all times to be impossible. Please, miss, I would like to try to keep this issue internal, if you don't mind. Try harder. Why are you all fussing over some book anyway? It's not just any book. The Rainbow Emotion Saga is a profane set of religious texts that our cloister has been charged with protecting. The fact that it left our cavern in the first place is a first rate violation of Imperial law. A violation of which law, dear? Please elaborate. No. Nice job, boot breath. Oh. Could I maybe... Oh. Could I maybe just get another look at it before... Why? So you can defile it more? Too bad. The thief already tore out all the naughty pages. And they're, uh... Much trouble. Not if Lanera shuts her crusty trap, we won't. No! I'm sick of this! As Jade, we have a duty to preserve the culture of Alternia and pass it on to the next generation. Bronia understands the importance of this sacred calling, but the rest of you undermine her at every step! Bronia is. She's so kind understanding. It would 
kill her to know the true depths of how much a lot of you despise her work. Lanera, I can speak for myself. I know, Branya. But just this once, let me speak for you. If one must wear the crown, then they need someone who can wield the whip. <coughs> and I... I'm the whip. Is everyone else hearing this? Be quiet, Lunk. I won't be bullied by you anymore. This stops now. Whoever defiled this divine artifact, step forward right now. Or this is going to get... It's going to be very bad. That's a promise. Yo, what's up, buddies? Hey, no need to stop on my account, diggy dog. Eee. What's all this noise I'm hearing about an important religious was it? Oh, shit. Uh, um, well, you really never know. You really never know when to shut up. It's nothing, sir. Just Jade being Jade. So how may I help you this evening? <laughs> help me? You think I need help? Oh no, not at all, sir. Just trying to send a helping hand, as it were. <laughs> it didn't mean to cause offense. Nah, it's cool, bud. I was just out for a stroll. It's easy to get bored on such a long trip, right? But it sounds like you guys be gearing up for a real roll kicker of a trial here. Don't go and tell me you guys just born like the other cars. Of course we are, sir. I mean, uh, I mean, of course we are. Uh, we're are and not boring. That is. No. Use your mm, use your word spells. Uh, what I meant to say is, we are currently in progress of setting up a tribunal on the spot to deal with this incident of thievery that's come to our notice but we were at a loss without a high blood of your caliber to judge the pizzazz of the upcoming trial. <laughs> Excuse me. Dear darling, Tizia, why don't you tell him all about it? Uh, should we keep going, or...? Hey, where are you going, Rusty? Come back. We got some stuff to hash out, bud. Well, yeah, I guess we're in the thick of it. He's looking cool as hay. Alright, let's hash it out. What's up, Joe? Nice to see your toothy mug again. It's nice to see yours again, too. But I don't think we have time to stop and chat. Can we sneak by? No can do, bud. See, Tizzy has been chatting me up about heinous courtroom bit. Hey, Tiz, tell about it all, Well, Tell about it. <laughs> Sh freaking wild. The, the long and sh the long and short of it is, I went to begin a trial. A who stole the book courtroom drama, but instead of handling it in the traditional Antonian way. We test out my theory of defensive legislation, where the accused has their own legislator, a defense legislator, where his honorable tyranny is no mindless monster, but a judge, and where the accused is innocent until proven guilty. Oh, this should be right up our alley then. Holy shm! Cece, no, sweetheart, you can't say those sorts of things in front of these sorts of people. It's heretical and illegal. Yeah, <laughs> shit's crazy. Shm's crazy indeed. That's why we need you, Joe. You see, see, the Jays accused Daria of stealing the book with fresh teeth and then stashing it in the load gap. So we need a neutral third party to defend Daria, 
and you're the optimal choice. W what? You want me to be a lawyer? I didn't go to law school. Heck, I've barely been to high school. Nah, bud. You don't need any fancy schooling. You're more than equipped with this the way you are. But really? Wow. Well, Zizi, I guess if even the most qualified among us isn't culling you on sight for your absurd ideas. Then I suppose this is a thing that is happening. So, if the little low-blood darling right here is the defense, and Marvis is the honorable tyranny, then who in the world will be the so-called prosecution? You, of course, since you're so eager to please. Oh. Well, wait, I haven't agreed to this. Joe, if you do this for me, I'll make sure you get through the rest of the train. Unless... Um, I can't argue with that, I guess. Maybe I'll really like being a defense lawyer. That's the spirit. Come to me if you got any questions about what to do. Alright. Eh, maybe a rundown would be nice. What's up? Hmm. I think I've got this. Let's start it. Excuse me. What the funk? No, you're not starting the gum gum trial. You haven't done shim. Go gather more statements, more evidence, anything, please. I'm begging you. Jeez, okay. Alright. Well, how about we start with her? 